Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Wednesday, the 17th of April. Summer-like weather continues in the short term. Line of storms coming in here early Friday morning. Will they be severe when they reach Alabama? That's the big question. We'll talk about that. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around our network early this morning. These were captured at the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's the Tuscaloosa Skycam. That's the Hugh Thomas Bridge. It looks like one guy's out there. That's the uh, sky cam at Fultondale. Down below, that's I-65. And on the Alabama Gulf Coast, might be a little foggy down there as muggy air rolls north. All right, got a big trough in the west, and you know the deal. It's April. It's going to set up some severe weather for somebody, some snow for some people. It's going to post some very active weather. But around here, ridging is the story. And it's pretty muggy at uh, 5 a.m., mostly upper 60s and low 70s. We'll be up in the 80s again today, but back in the colder trough, it's cold, snowing. Out there in the northwest United States, winter storm warnings. Parts of Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, South Dakota. Uh, Look at all the flood, uh, flash flood watches up now. Uh, Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, up into Wisconsin and Michigan, where they'll see some flooding issues in coming days. We'll focus on the severe weather potential. We have a moderate risk of severe weather today in advance of that big trough. Much of Oklahoma, up into Kansas, down into Texas. That moderate risk includes Wichita Falls, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and Wichita, Kansas. And the slight risk runs from the Texas Hill Country to Chicago. The higher tornado probabilities are clustered around Childress and Wichita Falls, Texas. And that's where you'll have the chaser convergence late today. Tomorrow, the risk extends uh, to the east. It runs from Houston all the way up to Detroit, and uh, that does include northwest Alabama. And what's going to happen, that line of storms will enter northwest Alabama after midnight tomorrow night. And this outlook runs until 7 a.m. Friday. So this does include the pre-dawn hours into Friday. And and I think that's actually a pretty good look there, Uh, I think if we have severe weather, the greatest chance will be over the northwestern corner of the state during the pre-dawn hours Friday, especially in areas north and west of Birmingham. And I think that line will weaken as it moves eastward and will be kind of fizzling out over east Alabama. The enhancement tomorrow, the really big numbers are centered uh, really from near Shreveport and Jackson up to Indianapolis. Some of the cities in the higher risk would include Little Rock and Memphis, and uh, again, uh, we'll take a look at modeling here. And then on day three, which is Friday, there's no risk outlined here, just general thunderstorms uh, for you know Birmingham and points south and east as the storms move east. And I think that's a, uh, again, I think that's right. Uh, this is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Monday morning of next week. The real big numbers are up north where those flash flood watches are in effect. And down here, the amounts are about one inch. We'll take a look at the GFS. This is the global forecast system, the OZ run. Valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. There's your big trough in the west. We've got ridging here. Down below that, that is a pretty classic severe weather setup for the Great Plains, the Southern Plains. A 999 millibar surface low is over the Texas Panhandle. And uh, again, that's just ripe for severe weather over Oklahoma and North Texas. And around here, uh, we'll be up in the mid-80s. The GFS shows 85 today. And uh, could there be a storm this afternoon? Yes, but they'll be very scattered or widely spaced. Uh, Yesterday, a cap kind of kept a lid on things, and the same thing might happen today. But with mid-80s, you have to mention the chance of a storm in just a few spots. I thought we checked the uh, high-resolution NAM. This is valid at 02Z tonight. That's 9 o'clock Central Time. And again, notice uh, those super cellular looking echoes down to below Oklahoma City between Childress and Oklahoma City. I think clearly that's going to be the hot spot where all the chaser guys will be. All right, tomorrow the surface low is 996 millibars between Des Moines and Chicago with a trailing band of showers and storms. 
And again, those storms could pack a punch in that zone west of the state. And then we'll go to Friday morning at six, uh, 7 o'clock local time. And you can see the trough is approaching us. And down below that, the storms are blowing in. The uh, surface low is way north of here, uh, over Michigan, 986 millibars. But again, the timing with the models have been pretty consistent. It looks like the storms enter northwest Alabama, you know, around 2 a.m., maybe blowing through Birmingham and Tuscaloosa, you know, 5 to 6 a.m., and then east Alabama a little later than that. We'll look at the instability values. This is the uh, projected surface-based cape off the NAM at 3 a.m. I'm sorry, this is actually 4 a.m., uh, 4 a.m. Friday morning. Little sliver of instability, but not very much. That's a big limiting factor is that the air is just not that unstable. Could you have severe weather with these values? Yes, but those numbers are pretty low. Wind fields are still pretty strong, not as strong as other runs. Uh, this is the low-level jet, about 5,000 feet up. Winds are 40 to 50 knots, and the shear values are, again, not overly impressive, but that might support a rotating updraft somewhere. And the RPM, this is valid... Uh, at 5 a.m. Friday, it's got the a weakening line of storms approaching Birmingham. So really no change in our thinking. We'll have a line of strong to severe storms entering northwest Alabama. Oh, about 2 a.m. Friday, working its way southward. The storms could produce strong straight line winds. Outside chance of an isolated embedded tornado. But the storms should be weakening as they move east. And by the time they reach... Uh, Birmingham, they should be in the process of, of weakening, fizzling out. And uh, the chance of severe weather east of Birmingham looks very small. And um, uh, the rain should be gone by, you know, mid-morning Friday. I know a lot of schools have field trips and things. That, you know, depends on where you are. But the storms will be ending from northwest to southeast Friday morning. And we turn cooler on Friday. The high will drop into the uh, probably upper 60s. Saturday, starting off the weekend, just gorgeous. We'll start the day down around 40. And again, now, colder pockets might visit the mid to upper 30s, maybe a touch of light frost for those very cold spots. And you know the places that always do that in North Alabama. But a beautiful day, sunny, low humidity, the high close to 70, just gorgeous. Same thing Sunday, lows in the 40s, highs up in the mid-70s, just great. Monday of next week, moisture tries to return. We'll leave it dry. There's Tuesday, new storm system forming off to the west. Here's Wednesday of next week. There's the next trough coming in. Pretty decent forcing, and down below that, a batch of showers and storms arrives Wednesday afternoon. Not really a, a well-defined, deep, dominant surface low there, but some of the storms could be strong, and we'll monitor that in coming days for any signs of severe weather. But, of course, that thing is a week out. End of the forecast, May 2nd. Surface low south and east of here, and that doesn't look overly impressive. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.